Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Good morning, good morning. We welcome everyone again to Everyday Communion with Pastor Raymond. And as always, we encourage everyone, hey, go ahead and get your communion elements on this morning. It's time to take communion. Bless God. All right, so this morning, our morning reading will be coming from 1 John 5 and verse 12. But on this week, we're asking the question, do you have life? Do you have life or are you just alive? My God, two different questions, my God. But the question is, do you have life, all right? Jesus said he came that we might have and enjoy life. Hear it, real life in abundance to the full, to it overflows. But again, the trap of this world system is to have you just alive, my God. Going through the motions of, 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 of day after day, week after week, year after year, and never accessing the life of God, the real life that God has for you. My God, it's completely, the plan of the enemy is to have you completely blinded from the real life God has for your life, all right? 1 John 5 verse 12 says, He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. Amplify says, He who possesses the Son has that life. I love it. And he who does not possess the Son of God does not have that life. All right. So what is this life? It's called Zoe, the God kind of life. It's the nature of God coming on the inside of man, my Lord. And you are living and possessing God on the inside of you. Okay. Now, who are those who have and possess this life? He tells us those who have the Son. Everyone who have placed their faith in Jesus, they possess now the life of God, my Lord. And the entrance into this life is Jesus. Accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, this is the entrance into this abundant life. This is the entrance into this overflowing life. It's, it's saying, Jesus, come into my heart, come into my life, my Lord. And that's the entrance into this overflowing life. All right. Now, without Jesus, people are just existing. Good Lord. Again, going through the motions, uh, 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 trying to exist, my Lord, trying to uh, stay alive, trying to keep the head above water, my God, trapped in the world system and have no idea that God has a good life already prepared for him, already prearranged, predestined for him, my God, and that good life is in Jesus Christ, all right? So again, without Jesus, people are just existing, existing but have never entered into the God kind of life, the Zoe of life, that, that abundant life that God has for him. My Lord, I encourage you, my Lord, hey, get in Christ. That's what his life is, my Lord. We'll get into it later on this week, my Lord. But everything you need is in him, my Lord. And this is where the life of God exists in Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen. So let's go ahead and take your meal on this morning. Father, we love you. We bless you. Oh, Father, we praise you. We thank you for abundant life overflowing life, the Zoe, the God kind of life that dwells on the inside of us. And we thank you for it, Lord. And we thank you, Father, right now for this, another opportunity you've given unto us, Father, to come before your table to commune with you and with one another. And for that, Father, we say thank you. We take the bread right now, Lord Jesus, which represents your body. We honor you right now, Lord Jesus. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, for all you have done for each and every one of us, all you're doing, everything you did, Lord Jesus, was for us. You was made sin for us that we might be made the righteousness of God. You bore all of our sicknesses, carried all of our diseases, the chastisement for our peace, and our complete wholeness was upon you. And with and by your stripes, we were healed, therefore we are healed. And we're healed right now from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. We do this in remembrance of you, Lord Jesus. We discern your body right now. We say thank you. And we love you this morning. We take the bread and we eat all of it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We take the cup, the cup of the blessing, the blood of Jesus. Because of your blood, Lord Jesus, we stand before the Father this morning, holy, blameless, the righteousness of God, all of our sins forgiven, never to be remembered again, never to be brought up again, never to be discussed again. And for that, we say thank you, Lord Jesus. 
thank you for your blood. Thank you for forgiveness. Thank you for your grace. We take the cup of the blessing, the blood of Jesus. We drink all of it. Mm. Saying thank you, Lord. Hey, my Lord, I encourage you, enter into the Zoe. Enter into the God kind of life. Enter into the abundant life that God has for you. Amen. Amen. Bless God. And again, it's all through Jesus. My God, it's through him, my Lord. So let's go and get our blessing and fasting on this morning. The blessing of the Lord is upon me. My family is blessed. My marriage is blessed. My children are blessed. My house is blessed. My body is blessed. My mind is blessed. My finances are blessed. My business is blessed. My church is blessed. Everywhere I go and everything I do is blessed. The blessing of the Lord is working for me now. God has made all grace, every favor, and every earthly blessing abound towards me in abundance on today. Amen. Amen. Receive that. That the blessing is working for you and your household. Amen. Amen. Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you. Father, we thank you for this new day. And all you have in store for each and every one of us, Father. I shout grace, grace right now to all that's watching, Father. I thank you that the blessing is working for their homes, Father. Every need of every household has been in full with abundance and more than enough. For all those who need healing, who need health, who need strength in their bodies. Father, we thank you that you are the Lord our God that healeth for us and you heal them all, Father. And we shout, we thank you for peace to every household, Father. We bind all strife, division, discord, and we lose unity and oneness. Everybody working together, flowing together, Father. Peace in their homes, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, God bless you guys. We love you. We thank you for joining us this morning for Everyday Communion. And we pray each and every one of you have a great day on today full of God's favor and blessing. Amen. Amen. Love you guys. Have a blessed one.